normally the Pi Pod cord will start itself up um, or when you, pull, when you plug the power cable into the Pi um, but for this just this video I'm going to show you um, all the different sensors so I'm going to start it manually which is what you'll hear now and hopefully there we go Pi Pod cord is starting up first thing it does is work out what IP addresses it's got. Obviously you've got the 1270.0.1 local address and a 192 range address which is coming off of the Wi-Fi dongle. Now if you look up here there are two buttons. One of them, this one, I'll make sure to press the right button, this one sh actually shuts the, the pipe or pod cord down. This one takes it to the next function. As you can see with the LEDs, I'm just using them as indicator lights to say that I'm doing something. So I'm going to press this button. You have to hold it because it has to finish the cycle. And you go, it tells you what the temperature sensor the temperature is off this sensor here, which is the TMP102. And if I put my finger on it, if I can see it goes up, it goes up. Get my finger under it. I can't get my finger on top of it properly, but it does go up and down. Next function, press the button. Temperature on the Arduino. As you can see, there's a, diff there's a difference in temperatures between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. That's this sensor up here. If I put the finger on this sensor, You can see it goes up. Next sensor. Press the button. Light level. If I'd have been sensible, I would have got a pen cap or something. The light level says lux. It's not lux, it's just a voltage level. So that's this one. Pop up the finger over it. It goes to lowers. Obviously there's some light getting in from the sides. Take the finger off it, and there we go. Brightens up again. It's quite a bright room. Next reading is magnetism. Again, it says G, which I think stands for Gauss, um, but it's not a, a true um, level. It's just a voltage level. That's this one up here. I say this is just for fun. It's not a serious experiment. Just serious to me. Press the button again. This is the really cool one. This is the one that's that's had um, people at the Milton Keynes Raspberry Jam interested. This is the reading off of this sensor here. This is the ultrasonic distance sensor, which sends out multiple pings, uh, sound waves, and then waits for the response to come back. If you look at the LEDs, you see the green one is flashing really fast. That's the pulse is going out. Now, distance to the ceiling, 116 centimetres, which is about right. If I put my hand in front of it, 54 centimetres, 8 centimetres, that's better. Because it's sending out multiple pulses, you get an average on all the pulses, and obviously if you put your hand in front of it during the pulses, then it'll average it out good because it can sense distances from one centimeter to I think it's about two and a half meters um, if I go over there and do distance to me dog you can see it's about there you go, 240 centimeters which I would say is a bit too far but it's not the most accurate in the world because obviously the further away the sound pulses have to travel the further dis more dispersed they become and it's less accurate on the way back press the button again goes back to the IP and then press the button again other button sorry press the other button and it shuts it down and that's it quite a good experiment with all the different sensors that's it.